Here's a quick update of my rocket stove and a few of the modifications I've carried out over the last few days. To start with, I lined the bottom of the afterburner with ceramic glass. I also lined um, underneath the shelf with ceramic glass. Here you can see the vermiculite in place on top of the glass. And here we can see the stumbler block in the top chamber. I also did some modifications by putting the, um, the secondary air further back and adding a grill to go on top of it. I also redirected the main air to go underneath the grill. So here we go, this is five minutes exactly after start up. Now we've got 10 minutes exactly and 15 minutes after start up. Now we're starting to get a little bit of smoke appear. And then around 20 minutes, we've got quite a lot of smoke on the glass, but um, it very quickly clears. And I think we're up to about um, 30 minutes in this picture and it's starting to rage away now. And here we can see the vortex really going. It's really picking up, temperatures are picking up. Here we are 45 minutes into the burn. If I open the door, um, it goes absolutely ballistic. You can see the flame shooting over um, the top of the, the afterburner and fine, I don't think that's meant to be good. We'll close the door again. So we've now got 160 degrees at the bottom of the barrel. We've got way over 500 degrees on top of a steel plate which is on top of the glass and inside my potential oven we've got 165 which is all great. So here we are, exactly one hour after I put a match to the kindling and we're still going strong with the vortex. Most of the wood, well it's still a fair bit in there to be honest, so it's definitely a better burn than yesterday. It seems that the ceramic glass that was sitting on top um, before I put this plate on was responsible for releasing too much heat. Um, it obviously wasn't containing the heat in, as it should and it wasn't sending it down through the barrel and into the mass. Um, I put a couple of wooden plugs on the end of my oven piece and inside the temperatures are going up to 190 and the very base of the barrel is about 140 and the mass is now up to 50 degrees C. So I don't think you can really ask for much more than that. And the top of this steel plate is uh, around about 500 and the back of this plate is uh, going up to about 250 which is really really efficient and more than adequate for what I require. So overall that's a success. It seems um, that glass was giving me quite a bit of problems. We might have cured it. I've got exactly the same settings as I had yesterday and we didn't get anywhere near these performance figures. But I have modified by putting the wood on the plate and I've got my secondary air coming up underneath that um, perforated, or it's a grill, it's a barbecue grill in fact. The air's coming up underneath and I've tried to direct the main air to go underneath the wood as well. So that might have had some effect, I don't really know. So here we are, it's exactly two hours after I put match to the wood. Um, we've still got a fair bit of coals going on in here, but the air underneath seems to be breaking down. I still see the odd flame. Interestingly enough, two hours afterwards, um, on top here, we've got still got 200 degrees. We've got about 150 on, on the back plate. So it's still kicking out an awful lot of heat. Um, I've tested the, the mass just now, and it was 57 degrees on top and about 30 near the bottom. So it's working fine. 